Welcome to the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. We discuss six questions in nine minutes because leaders know how to be concise. Let's go ahead and get started with our guest today. First question, in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Hey, Sean. So my name is Sharif Shalan. I'm uh, the founder and CEO of Agile Cloud Consulting. We're a Salesforce implementation partner. Um, I'm a Salesforce MVP uh, Hall of Fame member. Um, as of this year, 2020, I was an MVP since 2013. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Salesforce MVPs are just kind of uh, thought leaders and uh, people that help out within the Salesforce community. Um, I've been in the Salesforce ecosystem for about 12 years and I have 10 certifications. Wow. Very accomplished within the Salesforce realm then, aren't you? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two, what's the best thing about working with a team? Um, so for me, I work with a lot of teams, uh, both you know, internally, I have a lot of uh, you know, uh, teams that I work with in India and Egypt, uh, developers. So I, have, I work with other teams around the world. And I think for me is having, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> having that synergy, right? The best thing about work with the team is, you know, creating the synergy with the team, increasing the velocity. We do a lot of agile development. So you can actually, you know, as the team kind of the glue comes together and you, uh, you know, you, you become kind of better acquainted with your team and you have that synergy, you increase velocity and productivity. Um, so I think, you know, getting everybody to kind of work together, do their part and create that well-oiled machine we all want to create, kind of like the, the 90s bulls. <laughs> there you go. I like that comparison, going to the 90s bulls. That was a great team. <laughs> Question number three, I hear from other leaders of teams that it can be a challenge to get team members engaged. Tell me your thoughts. Um, so for me, I think to, to, have, to get your team engaged, you have to trust your team. I think that's the most important thing. Uh, so put trust in your team, allow people to do what they're best at. So that's one thing I've learned over the years is, you know, identifying what team, mem you know, what team members do best, whether in a development environment, uh, project management, and, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, the team environment happens to be, figuring out, you know, what people are good at, letting them do that, and trusting them to do it. And um, I think when you do that, typically you'll get your team engaged and, and doing, you know, what you need them to do. Mm. Great comments. Great comments. What other piece of advice do you have for leaders of teams? Um, so I think the number one piece of advice is uh, don't micromanage. Mm -hmm. right? you have to, it goes back to kind of my other answer of trusting your team. Mm -hmm. um, I think, uh, you know, just over the years uh, of places I worked before I started my own company and seeing that the this micromanagement doesn't really increase productivity. What doesn't increase productivity is, you know, uh, letting people know what they need to do and trust them to get it done, right? You're always going to have, uh, you're always going to have to adjust and have one-on-ones and, you know, it's not going to work out 100% of the time. But generally, if you don't micromanage and you trust your team, uh, you know, it seems to increase productivity in, in, my, um, in my experience. Mm. Yeah, great comments. Question number five, what other successful leaders of teams would you like to recognize that have had a positive influence in your life? Um, so there are kind of four that, you know, came off the top of my head. There's uh, Dan Lamont, who's uh, the CEO of Threshold.World. And uh, Dan was actually the, um, the CEO of uh, the company that I worked for before starting my own company. So he's, he's a great leader. Um, there is also Shiv uh, Devin, uh, uh, I was going to have a problem saying his last name, uh, Devin Arayanan, Devin Arayanan, Shiv Devin Arayanan, sorry Shiv. Shiv is one of my best friends, so he's going to be mad at me for, <laughs> but he has a long last name. So Shiv is uh, the CEO of DaysWorks, which is a platinum partner with Salesforce. They're also a partner of ours that we do a lot of our development with, and uh, you know, Shiv is a great leader. Um, there's Tim Lockie, who's the CEO of a company called Now It Matters, who's also a Salesforce partner on the .org side for nonprofits, uh, you know, great leader, um, you know, doing great things with teams. Um, and then finally, uh, Siraj Nekran, who's a CEO of a company called Impensa, um, who's also doing great things in technology. He's not in the Salesforce space, but he's doing some great things with his company and his leadership skills. Great people. Thank you so much for recognizing them for what they've been able to contribute and the people that you admire. So that's great. Last question. Tell us about your first job. Uh, so my first job, I was actually, um, what, what I like, you know, I, 
a, a nice name for it is a, a food truck chef, but I also like to call it a grease truck worker. So my family had a family business in Newark Airport. And uh, since I was very young, probably 13, probably less, you know, I was, uh, I was on there cooking cheesesteaks and falafels and all of that good stuff. So I did that for a, a long time and still a, a great uh, short order cook if I need to be. <laughs> That sounds great. It's about lunchtime for me. So I'm, <laughs> I like hearing about uh, short order cooks. That's great. Sharif, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. How can people find you? Well, thanks for having me, Sean. I'm, the best way to reach me is on Twitter. Um, you know, you can uh, catch me there at Sharif underscore Shalon, just my regular name. Or you can check out my website, uh, www.agilecloudconsulting.com. Great. This is Sean Richards with the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. For more ideas, go to teamengagementpodcast.com and download our Engagement Booster Tip Sheet. Again, that is teamengagementpodcast.com. Thanks for listening and joining us today. Have a great day.